this was a big one you guys really needed and uh, hung tough and got it. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, this was a for the game. We had, no one wanted to use the word dire for must win. But, you know, this is the team that was in the East that was 5 and 6 coming into the game. Uh, and obviously, they played a lot of people close. They lost in overtime to Nichols just last week. They focused they very closely. They, they lost to UCA very closely. They beat the UNO. They played the gamut of the league. And other than Stephen F. Austin, they played them pretty well. So we knew they would be formidable. We knew that they had a starting five. But, you know, a couple things we also talked about before the game, too, was our commitment to the zone. And even though they made some shots that were a little disconcerting, the old man to man coach here was not liking it, we were sweating it out, but we are committed to the zone. And I think what we tried to do was make adjustments in each half. In the first half, it was a 1-3-1, one, one, and our forwards just didn't quite organize enough. It worked about two or three possessions, and we got beat on the backside badly a couple of times. You know, just, it, it, okay, that was a good look, but they got it figured out, let's go to the next thing. So then, at late in the half, we went with a little bit of a match up out of the Fresno and we kind of matched almost looking like a man to man, not quite, but kind of matching up and making them stop and stare at them, which they did, which was great. In the second half we picked up for court for 12 or 13 minutes and that really kept them out of a rhythm and, 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 and it really it was just beautiful. If you think about it, percentages at Oral Roberts, the ability we did to defend them tonight against McNeese, these are teams that love to score in the mid to high 70s. We fouled the last three or four minutes at Oral Roberts to put them on the line on purpose, and they still only scored 71 points. So I think what we're, the long and short of it is the zone's been effective for us. I think it's, it fits this team and needs to be the personality of our team. And then down like you know 49, 46, whatever it was, we went on a little spurt at the right time and came up with the, you know get that four point working margin and Jeff went to the free throw line and. and just and then it started to pull away and they got very frustrated and, and uh, we see we had made enough free throws today. We did a good job. It was good to learn to see how to win again. And doing it without some guys that you would think were your go-to guys. You know, Michael Hines didn't play very much tonight. Uh, I, you know, I think he got discouraged a little bit. I tried to play him in the second half and he just, just wasn't into it. And you know at this point in the year, I don't want anybody to be, you know, I don't want anybody to be disheartened by the same thing. We've got a group's going well, we've got to win the game. And Tony O'Bet I didn't think had a particularly good win. I don't know why that is, but he was not able to be effective on either end before. You know, he did a little bit here there, but I know Chiochi stepped in and did a beautiful job. Devontae Epps had a great night. Maybe not scoring prolifically, but steadily and getting a lot of rebounds. We out rebounded the team for the first time in a long time, and that was great to see tonight. So, as you started off by saying, a great win for us. Very good win. Oh, I want to hit on the rebounding aspect for a minute, because that was one of the things that, that we hit on in our, in our keys to victory tonight. They came in second in the league in offensive rebounding, over 13 a game. Um, and now they ended up with 10, but only 10 second chance points off of those. And especially with you guys playing the zone, how were you able to kind of combat that and, uh, and for the most part keep them off the line? Well, you know, what you're seeing in the zone by staying in it is Devontae Epson's a very good rim protector. He's a long dude, and, and, you know, he covers up some mistakes for you, which is, you know, A.B. and O.G. are for very long guys. Um, I think our guards are learning to crash the boards as we're boxing up, and we're embracing some of the basic things that you have to do. It's not complicated, but there's a commitment level to doing some basic things like boxing and grabbing the ball. And, and I, you know, we just have to... We just have to do those things. And I thought tonight we did that in our back line, did a good job of finding and matching up. And, you know, we know that the, the UNOs of the world, the Northwestern states of the world, are going to crash the board very, very hard. And they're going to make it very difficult. So the good news is if you can survive that, you get some easy one up to the UNO as well. So, uh, you know, we had to grind from about the seven to the four minute mark. And we did. We did a nice job of grinding pretty well and getting some key baskets. From under the under four media, the, the momentum was all ours. The lead was ours. We never relinquished it, and that was great to see. And we started off the first half a little. I thought we settled a little bit. That's why I made these guys with AD and Ochi. You know, wanted to go near the rim. We wanted to run to the rim, get near the rim, and put pressure on the rim. And AD was kind of hanging out on the rim a little bit. And I told him that. I said, I, if you're not going to run to the rim, you're not going to be there. I'm going to go with Ochi. And Ochi's, you know, maybe going to, maybe can be like a Patrick Young for us in the floor. It's just a big beast down there. And put pressure on the rim. Uh, we found guys who had some good offensive time. 
chewed the ball pretty well. I thought Julian had a nice play good job tonight with Jeff not starting, but then Jeff, I thought, had a great second half. Blending beautifully, two tiny three, great defense. So a really nice balance tonight. And obviously, we get a win in this building. You know, we had good support. I want to thank the football team. You know, congratulate them on a great year and thank them for giving us some home court uh, feel and some home court advantage. It's nice to have that crowd and, and they responded well when we made some good plays and got some dogs in the to see. Looking ahead to Nichols on Saturday, what can we expect to see? Well, you know, they're going to be, they're going to run their offense, they're going to be very patient, they're going to isolate a couple of guys. Andrew Thomas, the top 10 players in the street, maybe top five. Uh, he does a great job at 6 3 lender size combo forward. He does a beautiful job. Uh, you know, Jeremy Smith, a lefty, slashing forward as well. Guard forward does a great job. They're very patient. They don't beat themselves. Um, they don't play good man to man defense. And uh, so, you know, we're just going to have to, very much like tonight, I think, grind it out. And, and I think this is a game two where we can find defense. Play a little man to man against them. I think we do a pretty good job against them. You know, man, man to man's not going to disappear forever, but I think you know zone's going to be our identity. And mixing in a man to man against a team like that can be effective for us for a few possessions. And, you know, again, controlling the boards, going inside, attacking them. It's, it's important. You know, what young players and what old players in college have to realize too is you know an NBA team assembles job doers. And they've got a, everybody's got a Kobe or you know, trying to get a Kobe or a LeBron and then a go-to guy. But everybody else is, is, a, is a job doer. And if there's a job doer, you know, that means your job, you might be doing your job really well one night, but Udonis Haslam might be doing it better. And all of a sudden Chris Bosch isn't playing as much. And so I think the professional level, they understand that a little bit more. So a couple of guys tonight just, you know, hey, the win is all that matters right now. We're still alive. We're still heading to Katy, Texas. We need to get a couple more of these wins while we're home. You know, if we can squeeze one out against the Eagles, that's a super number great. And uh, try to win the weekend. And that's what we're going to try to do when we get back up tomorrow. Coach, uh, congratulations on this one. And best of luck uh, Saturday. We'll see you out there. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. I was head coach Jim Yarbrough. And uh, once again, we want to remind you that 